Good afternoon everybody. Uh, I'm on something slightly different today. Um, a CB650R. CB650R by Honda. Uh, the old uh, Suzuki GSX-R 1000Rs uh, at the dealership at the moment. It's uh, having a couple of things done. It's having a new rear tyre. Uh, but the, the main reason it's in is uh, there's been a recall. Uh, it's an ABS sensor needs uh, changing out. There's a bit. There's a bit of an issue uh, that when the battery level becomes very low, the the ABS is uh, deactivated. So it's going in. It's been called in for that, which is uh, yeah. So, uh, but yeah, I'm loving this. Um, not going to do a review on it because I don't know enough about it but I'll tell you what that is a that's a very comfortable bike um, 95 brake horsepower I think <laughs> a bit different to the thousand um, yeah about 200 kilos I believe um, show a suspension yeah, I just read up a couple of things on it you know um, I think you get quite a lot of bike for the money. I mean, uh, oh, so it's very comfortable. First impressions. Been out on it now for about an hour. So, uh, got a nice display there. Handles lovely. Oh, absolutely lovely. Um, yeah, the seat, I, I mean, the seat, I think it's 810 millimeters. So I mean I'm 5'7 and uh, I'm a short ass, so I, I, you know I can touch the ground no problem whatsoever on this and this is the sort of bike that you can get on and just just ride you know I know you've got to get used to things but this is this seems to me first impressions uh, very very easy very good you know uh, yeah I'm quite enjoying it really um, it's quite a nice riding position as well not hunched over like on the sports bike which is obvious um, mirrors very good visibility on the mirrors no vibration there whatsoever nice and clear view of behind yeah I'm, I'm actually quite enjoying it I think the the front forks are shower forks uh, I'm not sure if they're adjustable I don't think they are single mono shock on the rear uh, I believe that's adjustable um, yeah, dual discs uh, on the front there. The brakes are actually Nissan, I think. Nissan calipers front and rear. So yeah, they're not Brembo's, but um, the actual stop and power is pretty good. Very comfortable. Very comfortable. Let's slow down a bit. Um, yeah, quite, quite like, quite liking it. Um, I think it's got Metzler tyres on actually. I think they're Metzlers. It's also got uh, ABS, front and rear ABS, um, dual ABS, which I think means that they basically work uh, independently. So uh, it's got uh, traction control. You can actually disable it by this. Uh, this button here on the left hand uh, controls don't really know why you'd want to do that though best to keep it on uh, yeah it's nice and easy I mean I've, I've actually I don't know whether it's because I'm used to my bike but uh, when I go to indicate I press the horn a couple of times which uh, you, you get some funny looks <laughs> uh, but yeah it's no, it's no sport bike obviously not I mean but I could certainly get used to something like this. Definitely. Yeah, I could certainly get used to it. Effortless to ride, absolutely effortless. The pegs are in a nice, nice uh, position. It's probably be quite comfortable for a pillion passenger on the back as well. If you want to take anyone on the back, I don't really tend to do that uh, myself, but. Um, 
Yeah, look, look quite, quite, a, quite a smart looking bike as well. I'll, I'll pull over in a bit and uh, give you a quick look. You know, quick look at the quick walk round of the bike. Uh, it's an inline four, so it's lovely and smooth. Uh, I think the obviously the comp competition would be the Suzuki SV650. I'm not rid one of those. Be interesting to see what they're uh, what they're like, but that's your competition. Uh, there'll be one or two others, but that's what I know of. Um, quite a nice uh, display there. Probably a bit difficult to read in the sun though. Um, it's got a rev counter there, gear indicator, your speed, your temperature, fuel gauge, uh, the time usual sort of thing really you know uh, it's got a lovely sound to this as well when you open it up uh, so I think it's about 95 brake horsepower uh, which is enough really on the bloody roads you know like, like, like the Suzuki uh, GSX R1000 I think that's 200, 200 odd plus brake that you, you can't use that power on the roads you just can't do it Unless you want to lose your license, which I don't, um, or hurt yourself, yeah. But yeah, overall, get yourself out and test ride one. Cracking weather again today. Cracking weather. Yeah, I could, I could definitely get used to something like this. The only thing I do, <laughs> one thing I did do when I first got on it, obviously this ain't got no quick shifter or, or uh, blipper. You have to use the clutch. I've been spoiled on the thousand, you see. So, uh, but it's actually quite nice to, to, you know, just to to do everything yourself manually rather than just up and down the gearbox uh, without the clutch been spoiled with mine yeah um, it's got quite a nice induction roar as well there when you open her up yeah I'll, I'll pull over in a bit and uh, show you see what you think certainly a nice uh, looking looking bike it's got a nice uh, light cluster on the on the front there uh, oh, I've got a fly buzzing around in my visor ah, that's better um, yeah it's certainly nice looking um, nice little stubby exhaust pipe yeah, I'll just find somewhere suitable and uh, pull over and show you it's absolutely effortless to ride though I think this would be a good learner bike they can restrict this as well apparently so if you were going to do your A2 license the restricted one you could you could have one of these restricted I think that's something uh, Honda do uh, and then you could have the restriction removed maybe once you're uh, you know once you're ready uh, but yeah it'd make a good commute with this as well you could take this to work, not a problem, and then uh, actually have a bit of fun with this outside of commuting. It's not, you know, it's not massively wide either, so you could filter through traffic and uh, I think I'd, you know, work out well. I don't know what the MPG consumption figures are, like, so I haven't looked into any of that. This isn't a bike review, by the way, this is just my opinion on. Uh, and what I think of the CB650R first opinion but yeah I thought there's probably no end of bike reviews if you want to watch uh, another one. let's turn in here and have a walk, quick walk around the bike uh, oh let's have a look so there she is, yeah. 
It's got a lovely front on there. I love that headlight. It's got a nice uh, illuminated headlight there for your daytime running. And it's also got, which I haven't seen before, is these indicators are lit up as well on your normal riding during the day. Not the air intakes here and here. Yeah, nice little stubby exhaust there. Quite tidy, really. Quite tidy, I'm loving it. Yeah. Show of forks. Yeah, that's the two thousand I think it's the 2019 model. I mean this is a 20 on a 2020 plate, but I think it, this is new 2019. Ah right. There you have it. Oh the Honda CB650R 650 R Right. There we go. But yeah, the uh, GSX R thousand R. That's that's in my local dealers at, uh, at the moment. Like I said, having uh, the recall done, uh, so having a new rear tyre. Because the rear tyre was. Uh, near enough there was still a bit of life in it but thought while it's in there you might as well might as well do it uh, I'm gonna get them to do, they're, they're doing an oil and filter change a little service it doesn't need a service but you know it's not due uh, due a service but they might as well have a just do a little interim service on it it's actually quite breezy today although it's, the sun's out a bit breezy. Cool. Quite impressed. Quite impressed. I don't know if it's, I don't know whether. I mean, I've, I've had my sports bike now for a couple of years, and previous to that was a another sports bike, 600 cc sports bike. Uh, before that, uh, I'm so used to riding them that to. to to come out on something like this is a bit of a I don't, I don't know it's a bit of a game changer could be be interesting to ride the CB1000 I'll make a CB1000 I think not the CBR1000 I mean that'd be nice but the CB1000 uh, yeah. I just like I just like the oh, I'm not I'm not not getting any younger but <laughs> I, I, I do like the the upright you know the sitting upright position um, certainly much better on your back there's no weight on your wrist whatsoever here uh, uh, it's quite busy here today this is Roxham on the Norfolk Broads um, oh Go on then. Go on, go on then. Yeah. It's quite busy. A few people a few people knocking about. <coughs> but yeah, the yeah, the gearbox is lovely and smooth as well. Not so there's no quick shift or auto blip or nothing like that. But there's ever so smooth on the gears. The clutch is nice as well, it's not too heavy. It's just, uh, it's just a pleasure to ride this. It's, it's a pleasure to ride. Uh, yeah. like I say with these, the big one litre sports bikes, you can't, you, you can't open them up on the road. You just can't. Unless you want to lose your license or end up in a ditch. <laughs> if you're not careful, that is. Yeah. Uh, A bit of traffic here today but I mean just doing speeds speeds you know 10 mile an hour we're doing here and it's not it's not uh, snatchy on the throttle nice and smooth 
Yeah. The seat's a bit hard though, I must admit. The seat is definitely a little bit hard on the old Jaxi. Oh, neutral there. There's no vibration through the foot pegs either, or on the bars or anything like that. There's no vibration there. I can't feel any anyway. It's got a nice little stubby can on here as well. Sounds nice. No problems overtaken there. Yeah, I don't think you could go wrong with something like this. You could ride it to work. Have a bit of fun on the truck if you wanted. Yeah, a little bit of fun on the weekends. Or a little evening ride out. It's a pleasure to ride. So I don't know what the, the MP, MPG, the fuel consumption's like on it. I've not looked into that, but... Yeah, time to take uh, take it back uh, to CJ Balls, uh, Sanos Road. They got a good selection of bikes there. Uh, appreciate the uh, loan bike. Time to pick up my uh, GSXR thousand R. Here we are. They deal in Honda and Suzuki. Uh, CJ balls and brand new tire. Cool. I'll have to be careful on that. <laughs> yeah. Speak to you later.